Hi, I'm Mayu and this is the manifesto of playing to live <laughs> elsewhere. It's as a species and as a collection of complex ecosystems, we're dying with accelerating velocity, with violence, with a chaotic mess of unjust systems of deadly consequences falling first on those least responsible. We're dying from hunger, we're dying from drought, we're dying from overconsumption, dying from war starting from the lack of water at the same time as water is dripping from our eager mouths and our polished bodies. And it's not that we don't know or understand that the eco-crisis is happening. We struggle with it because we don't want survival. We want meaning, we want ecstasy, we want a story. We want an ending that sends shivers through our spine so we can put our lives in the context of something that begins and ends. Because we don't understand continuums. We understand the taste of coffee and the way our lover tilts their neck. Yeah, we cannot bear the pain of the havoc we are causing, so we cry, we consume, we look away, we become cynical, we become overwhelmed. And we all have our excuses, and, and they're all valid. But with the utmost love and compassion, I still say they're, they're excuses. We can all be forgiven, but none of us are excused. And as LARPers, we're, we're escape artists, and it's, it's brilliant. The fact that we want to escape proves my cynical side wrong. We should be saved, this, this species so anxious for self-destruction. The fact that we know how to escape fills me with awe. But it also, it also fills me with disappointment, because we are world builders, imaginers, multi-talented community leaders, and what are we doing with it? We are consuming and we are creating experiences for the consuming mass that we have become. We go from LARP to LARP hoping to feel something, hoping to be shaking, hoping to be transformed even, but to what? In our well-justified desire to escape, we have become experienced addicts. We long to experience and we long to feel and there is nothing wrong with that. But our hunger for distraction is blindsiding us from our capacity to imagine and live better futures and to live sustainably, to play sustainably. So we all need a revolution, even if we don't want one. <laughs> and to have one, we need to want one. And to want one, we need to understand what are the alternatives to this shit show we are participating at at the moment as a society. We need to look at those alternatives and make them real. And the beauty of LARP as an art and as a spark for revolution is that the whole core of LARP is exploring other ways of being and living. What magnificent magic we have the ability and the capacity to do. So we need to look at what we want to create and what kind of world we want to live in and then take this magic seriously. Because no matter how far the fiction reaches, every game we play still happens in the context of a burning planet. So, for there to be a future filled with play, there needs to be a huge shift in how we play. And the following principles suggest a starting point. The deep ecological framework. We need a community whose art is based on the deep ecological understanding that we are not separate from nature, that we have no right to use it to fill our secondary needs. We need to understand our interconnectedness with the non-human and transform the way we live in this world by making LARPs that readjust the world, the attitudes and the habits we have. The deep ecological framework should be our baseline, the truth-telling mirror from which we ask if our deeds are just. The embodied practice. Fiction and reality come together in our skin, in our muscle memory, in my very real heart racing. And this is the greatest advantage of our art form. So we need to learn how to, how to play with and in our bodies, because the actions, the taste, the, the ways of live that we en encounter in fiction, they, they stay with us in reality. So what do we want to bring, bring with us from games? How do we want to move in this world that we are constantly shaping? Playing with desire. We, 
need to get intimate with our desires, to understand them better than algorithms do, better than capitalism that is playing us for fools. To live is to desire, and there is no shame in that, but as long as we don't understand or are afraid to admit what it is that truly lies beyond, beneath our actions, there is no fulfillment, there is only hunger. We don't need a $600 LARP, we need to be loved, we need connection, we need self-worth, we need safety, we need meaning, we need beauty. If we start truly playing with our deep desires, whatever they are for each of us, we will understand not only how, but why we want to live and find ways to transcend our hunger. Intention and integration. We need to get serious about it. Find tools for intention and integration in our games and in our playstyles. Any game has the potential to be transformational if we do this. So why am I creating this game? Why am I playing this game? What do I want to happen and why? Intention makes us conscious of the whys and the hows, and integration puts that consciousness into action. The deep minimal. We have become desensitized by all the stimuli in and off game. We have become greedy and needy and waiting to be impressed. We don't need more plots, bigger castles, more complex game mechanics to feel and understand more. We need less. Let's build worlds not out of props or fancy venues, but out of commitment to each other. Of the worlds we are building, of the nuanced detail of how we listen to ourselves and each other while we play. Let's trust that when we leave space for things to happen, they will. And we will notice. Non-consumerism. LARP is not a product and we are not consumers, so let's stop selling LARPs, let's stop buying LARPs. Let's find ways of gifting games that challenge not only consumerism, but the, the whole system it's based on. Agency and raising awareness. So we yearn for agency in game, but we struggle with it off game. Let's make LARPs that inspire us to remember and notice that our actions matter, that we have the power to do things differently, to rebel against unjust systems, to resist oppression, to invite care and joy and sustainable action. Let's make LARPs that help us become conscious of the systems we are part of, of the values we base our actions on. Slow travel or no travel, let's, let's stop flying to LARPs. If we can make up these fictional worlds and live in them, we can figure out sustainable ways of travel. And if we, if we can, we shouldn't be playing at all. Find new stories to create new worlds. No pre-existing system will save us. If it could have, it would have. Let's challenge ourselves to tell and experience stories that are not a repetition of our old and toxic ways. Can we find the drama and all that we love in unseen places, in stories not yet told? No future, even, even a brighter one, is uncomplicated, so the possibility for exploration is endless, if we are willing to go there. Building communities. We need each other now and we will need each other even more in the futures to come. Resilience is a communal effort. Let's not compete, we're on the same side. Let's build in-game communities that teach us ways of living together despite all that would come between us. And let's cherish those off-game communities that sprout from these experiences. Let's take care of them. Staying with the trouble. <laughs> let's find ways, ways to to bear the uncomfortable, to bear the devastating, the messy feelings of grief and shame and anger, the hopelessness that comes with the ecological uh, destruction we are living through. And let's work with those feelings and from that complexity look for the beauty and all the imaginative escape routes. Pleasure and joy. 
living and playing elsewise doesn't mean enjoying less. This is what we need to understand and change this assumption. And we are hedonists by default and we should work with that. Let's ga make games that challenge the idea that sustain sustainability means giving up play and pleasure. Let's work less and play more. So I want this community to feel all there is to feel, the anger and the joy as the world as it is, and then get really, really excited about how we can face these struggles. Let's imagine and embody post-capitalist, post-fossil futures, these playful, wonderful realities. Let's imagine living, breathing, ecstatic, socially just, non-destructive systems that honor all life. Let's make these realities livable and show that there are alternatives. Because we are imaginers, we are world creators, we are loving, thriving beings filled with infinite possibilities to live and play elsewise. So let's do so. Thank you. <laughs>